Hello Superherd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be showing off yet another new ability. In the last episode we showed off the brand new Rose ability, the Psychedelic Goat, being sold by Rux, but he is selling more than one item this weekend. He is also selling a brand new Captain Deadbeard ability. You might remember when I was you know, showcasing the new parrot, I was talking about how it would be awesome to see more Deadbeard stuff and we got exactly just that with the Looty Booty Barrel Blast. Yo ho ho, it's a barrel made of shiny treasure. Protect yourself from plants in style and blast them away in a glittery explosion. So this is pretty cool. It seems to be just a bling ability, but we'll be playing in some super mix mode with viewers live on Twitch. If you missed out on the stream, you can always go down to the description and check it out yourself for next time. But yeah, we'll be going on to super mix mode and hopefully having a good time with Captain Deadbeard. I don't know which Captain Deadbeards I need to play to level up, but we're gonna find out one way or another. What tea do I drink? I usually drink English breakfast tea, but also sometimes green tea. I've been drinking more green tea because I've been like fighting off strep throat. But normally I just stick with English breakfast because it has a tiny bit of caffeine in it, which can help. Because I don't have any other caffeine in my life at this point. All right. I can get Skyog Imp Legendary from Rocks. That's really cool. Good luck getting that. So which Captain Debeer should I play? I, oh, I don't want to play Captain Cannon. I mean, we could play Captain Party, man. I haven't played Captain Squawk in a while though, like so long in a while that I'm probably gonna play badly as him. But we'll try it with the Looty Booty Barrel Blast. It looks really cool. It looks like it's a blue barrel with like sort of like golden. Yeah, it's all golden. It looks more yellow in the uh, like little picture. Oh, I like this. Yeah, <laughs> I like his little eyeball. So I wonder what the explosion is gonna look like. Let's see if we can't find a plant, but I might run out of time here. So we might just explode. Uh. But we should have some space. Yeah, there is some space in the in the mix mode here, so that if you are having a hard time enjoy, or having a hard time joining, you can just go ahead and try to join Super Mix Mode on North America East, and you might actually have the chance of joining just because not too many play, people play Super Mix Mode. Uh, let's. Oh, we'll try to get you. I'll try to get as many shots as I can with this, but I usually have a hard time with this guy. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, I got you there. Thirty nine damage is insane. Get you a little bit. How did I not get that? How did I land on the cactus? But not that sunflower. Oh, look at that! Oh, jeez, I know you're right there, buddy. You can't hide from me forever. <laughs> oh, wow, this is Vanquish confirmed. Okay, so I want to get over there nice and quick. Maybe I can sneak up on the sunflower and land the, uh, the the dead beard barrel. Come on, there we go. Big hug, big hug. I'm coming in for a big hug. Land right on top of me. Boom. <laughs> that was perfect. So obviously, it's a very noticeable barrel. So I can see how a lot of players might end up focusing on me norm than you know they would if I just had a normal barrel. Just because it's so shiny and has a bright blue color. It's gonna be probably pretty easy for them to notice. But wow, that's a quick cooldown. I mean, it shouldn't be too much different from the normal barrel blast. So that might be the same amount of cooldown, but that was up pretty darn quick. English breakfast is good tea, I agree. All right, so uh, let's try to get this cactus. If not anything else, one of my favorite uses for the barrel is to jump up higher, especially in the low gravity maps. Oh jeez, come on. I almost had the barrel ready again. There we go. Ooh, we're doing pretty decent right now. Time six Vanquish streak. If I can get top Vanquisher this round, that means I can, um. oh boy, back it up, back it up. Oh jeez. That means I can actually get a quest done as well, which will be some good coins into my pocket. My aiming could be a bit better right now. Oh. Oh, how'd I miss that? I don't know. I still definitely want to see some new Captain Deadbeard abilities. It's cool to see some uh, bling stuff, but having some new actual effects would be cool as well. All right, let's try to get you. This sunflower really likes hiding over here. Oh, look at that, in the air. Or I guess not in the air. There's no air on the moon. In the something. <laughs> I guess there's no proper way to describe that. All right, uh, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. Come on, boom. No, no, I tried to get you. Oh yeah, I forgot how this works. It isn't like the other shotguns, it's more like a spray. But I like this so far, this is pretty interesting. Um, It doesn't seem all that much different. If anything, the cooldown's a little less, but I mean, the barrel is the barrel. It already does a lot of damage. It's meant to be a, like a vanquishing move. Oh, that was a good shot right there. Oh, I really like that one. Boom. Probably one more and I should be able to get you. Depends though, if you're hiding. Oh, I can't get you like that. I just need to sneak up. I need to sneak up. Hold on, don't get me. I'm trying to finish off this rose. Who doesn't notice me just yet? Please don't go to find me. Oh, yeah. What? Really? That didn't get you? Look at you taunting at me. Not happening, lady. All right. All right. 
Ah, oh, the wall got in the way. There we go. I'm having a lot of fun with this Captain Deadbeard right now. I usually don't. I usually just do awful. Back into the barrel. The barrel gets available so quickly. It has to be a lower cooldown. I'm like constantly in it. Oh boy. Where are you? You're right here. Got you a little bit. Got you a little bit more. Oh geez, here comes the... Boom. Yeah! We're doing pretty decent with that right now. Oh, hello. Back into the barrel. Oh, you're not gonna have your ethereal formal for when I blow up here. Or maybe you will, because you're actually taking a while. All right, well, I did that a bit too soon. Wow. Wow, that was a... Wow, I have never seen a, a rose time snare so many players. It was crazy. That one's better? Yeah, I definitely am starting to feel like this barrel is better because this cooldown is insane. I usually don't use a barrel this much. Okay, well, have this deliciously bling barrel. See what happens. Oh my, oh my, this might not turn out so well. Oh, we survived. Where are the other plants at? We got a sunflower right there. I missed her. All right, I need to get set up like this. This might turn out a little badly, but all my zombie friends are valiantly defending me, which I appreciate. I missed that, but I didn't miss that one. Oh, the butter's gonna hurt. But we survived, Vanquish Streak. Oh wow, look at that, I did get the Vanquish Streak Master. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it seems a lot faster. I definitely agree. That was really good. Because usually they, when it comes to bling and rainbow stuff, they don't mess with the formula too much. Usually it's relatively similar. Look at that. So I'm really surprised that's different. That was very cool. I could definitely see myself using this barrel as a go-to right away. I don't see what the downside could possibly be. Like maybe it does slightly less damage, but it still does enough damage to vanquish, for sure. I mean, I took out a metal petal that didn't seem to have too much damage taken. We took out that one rose, but she sort of had a good amount. So I'm not sure, we might have to do some comparisons on the damage it does. But of course, as always, if you're watching this video either on Twitch or on YouTube and you have this new Deadbeard barrel, let me know your thoughts on it. And if you have it and you know what you th feel about it. So yeah, I like this barrel a lot. Hopefully we can get more barrel vanquishes. I can't wait to see what it's like outside of the low gravity. Cause honestly, low gravity really affects how the barrel works. Cause you just hop so high in the air afterwards. It either makes you a big target or helps you move on to other targets very nicely. It can be very strategical. I'm gonna wait for these uh, plants to get closer to me. For right now, I might as well stay back and keep sniping. There we go, there's another good one. Dude, this guy's about to come for me, so I might as well do that and get over there real quick. I mean, it seems like everything else is the same. We still may move the same amount of speed. It seems to do at least good enough damage. Get it, peak performance, mm-hmm. Maybe it'll make it so you can level up directly as the captain or the level one dead beard. Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. But either way, it looks like we're in suburbanation right now. I don't see anybody around here. But so far we have two of the three points. It's building up. Oh, level up decently. I, I guess I missed a word there. But yeah, it could definitely help you uh, level up if it's gonna be better than the other barrel. So let's go into it. Let's see if I can't sneak up on you because you don't seem to notice me, but everybody else is attacking you. Let's see, can I see the damage counter? Oh, I can't. It just moves too quickly. But I don't really remember off the top of my head how much damage the normal barrel does. Ooh. Boom, no, couldn't get it. But this barrel is definitely, if it keeps going like this, it could definitely help me level up. Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, hi. I feel bad, but I'm gonna have to vanquish you if you stick around. It's a dangerous place out here for plants. All right, uh, hmm. So we're not as much in the lead as we were before. I don't wanna activate the barrel just yet, but I need to take this point. Can I take the point while I'm in the barrel? I can, look at me. Awesome. So I'm just gonna hold on to it for now until the barrel power lowers. No, there we go. Okay, well I didn't get to use it too much, but that's fine. At least maybe some plants stayed away from me because I had it, which helped us secure the point. All right, we captured that zone. I don't see too many plants except for you, and you got me. You join my game, awesome, I'm glad to see. There is still more room, so if people are trying to join, hopefully you'll have a chance to join. But let's pull up the parrot. I haven't used the parrot at all in today's video. I mean, I still wanna see a Captain Deadbeard cannon that maybe works a little bit more like the engineers, because I think that'd be fun. Oh boy. Let's try to get you. It is crazy at this point, because while the Captain Deadbeard has two drones, the, the cactus has four. I think that's the most ability choices per slot at this point. Or I guess it's tied, right? 
because the cactus has four abilities in that one slot, and that's the drone slot. And same thing with Super Brains. He has four Ultra Balls to choose from. I don't think any character has five different abilities in one slot. Even that'd be crazy. I mean, I'd rather than focus on different slots for different characters at that point, so I wouldn't want that to be a thing. Move it, move it, move it, getting close, getting close. They definitely, they're one step ahead of me here. Definitely harder to, you know, get close with the, uh, the barrel in this map, I think. There's a bit more wide open terrain so they can see me coming in from farther away. Yeah, the Disco Chomper, cool. I shoot at the fireworks. Oh, let's try to get rid of you. Oh, no, my aim is awful. I was pretty close quartered for the, uh... oh man. There's also like a bit of like trailing with it. We're losing control, pushing back. We have, nobody suburbanated yet. No need, need to freak out. Oh, there, as I say that, they just, they suburbanate. Oh, hello. You know what, you I can get. You I can definitely get. You're gonna try to damage me? Well, then I'm gonna come up close. No, you made the good move. I thought I got close enough so that you wouldn't be able to do that, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, oh okay, I got you with the toxic damage, and I got got. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you seem very happy about that. All right, um, right, let's pull up the parrot. And the plants are winning this round so far. But we could turn it around with a good Suburbanation. That's sort of the fun thing about Suburbanation, is we could take all their points, then they could have 99 points and we could still win. As long as we could take all theirs, and then just keep it, like that. Wow, how did that mech get up there? That is crazy. That's a good spot for the mech to be. Hmm. This chomper's not gonna be able to do too much to me. But everybody else will, so I gotta be careful. Well, what is with the cooldown to the, the mine? The mine was going backwards. Did anybody else see that? The cooldown to my, not the mine, but the, like the airstrike, it was like going backwards. That was really weird. Hello, I don't know if you're shooting at me or somebody behind me. I might, might wanna be careful. But at this rate, we might not be able to win it. 72 to 46, that's not a good score. But all we need is one good suburbana suburbanation, especially with three mechs out here. That's what's gonna make it happen. Oh, oh no, oh no, be careful, be careful. I don't think you quite see me, so I can just damage you super easy like this, or I could be the worst at aiming ever. Come on, come on, boom. One more, one more, or you can get him. Whatever works. So we got this point, but we don't have any of the others. At this point, I think I might just wanna protect this, because they're doing really a good job at stealing them. I see a chomper over there, he's heading to point A. Where's this cactus at? Uh, Gone, I have no idea where she went. Oh, she's over here. Oh geez, I'm not gonna be able to get you, am I? That's fine, somebody's taking point B. Chomper, stop it! Oh, I almost got him, that would've been close. Did we do a lot of headshot damage, which is nice. What are you doing over here? <laughs> None of the mechs can reach him because the mechs are too big. Oh gosh, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna take your hiding spot really quick because, no, they got me. Aw. <laughs> You're a popcorn? Oh yeah, you were the popcorn, okay. I think that you got me before. Anyways, it looks like the plants are winning this one. The plants did very good. I'm better at Vanquish Confirmed for sure than I am Suburbanation. I rarely play Suburbanation nowadays. Can we get this point out? Oh, it seems like somebody's getting it, so I'll move my parrot somewhere else. Maybe right here, can we damage you? Oh, perfect! Nice, there's another Vanquish for us. Nobody's protecting this point. Unfortunately, parrots can't Suburbanate. That's awful. I mean, I guess it's fair because the, the drones can't suburbanate either. That'd be a crazy strategy if they could. Oh, does everybody play as a Captain Deadbeard and Cactus and only capture points with drones? Your torchwood, okay. Oh gosh, the game ended. Okay, so there's another round with the uh, barrel. I didn't get to use the barrel too much there, but it really has the same weaknesses that the normal barrel has, which is a more open map like this with not as many obstacles and is a little less close quartered. It's gonna be harder to use the barrel in. Because obviously the barrel is used for when you're sort of cornered or you're in the act of cornering a plant. So when you have situations like this where there aren't really too many closed in areas, there's almost always somewhere to run or to climb up, you're gonna have a hard time with the barrel. So that's not too surprising. I really wouldn't knock this barrel for that, but so far, I still can't find any reason how or why this would be worse than a normal barrel. It just seems to have a lower cooldown. So now we're on, oh, it looks like we're on turf takeover now, which is good. This could be a nice long round, unless I defend so well 
This is where the barrel can come into play very well because they'll be sort of coming to us and then when we get super close quartered, just pull out the barrel and get them out of there. And so when they're all bunched up trying to get on that point, that's a, that'll be the perfect opportunity for us. Well, the scene. If they have as good as a round as we did last episode, then they have no chance, but we'll have to see. I still can't believe we won that round in the last episode. If you didn't know, last episode we checked out the uh, new Rose ability. Let's get rid of you, that was good. Oh jeez, oh jeez, back it up, back it up. They know I'm here. I still wanna try to get as much sniping as I can done before I have to move on to the barrel, because I only have one barrel at a time. All right, let's try to get you like that. You just husk hopped, so I know you can't defend against this, so I can just get all close up to you. <laughs> he knows when he's been defeated. He's like, goodbye. All right, boom, got you a little bit. But that's a big thing with Captain Deadbeard. Once you see somebody use their escape, that's when you know you to go for him. You know, when the chomper uses his barrel or his goop, that's when you want to use, not his barrel. <laughs> when, I talk, when a chomper uses his dig or his goop, that's when you want to attack him, even though he does have a snapdragon. Not a snapdragon, a spike weed. There are so many different terms in this game. It's so easy to get them all mixed up. But after a plant uses their escape, that's when you want to use the barrel, because if not, they'll just escape away. All right, where's this chomper gonna be? You can either attack me or get attacked by the engineer. So, I'm gonna give him that choice. All right, there's a Colonel Corn over here as well. I can get him, I think. I don't know if there's any roses on their team. Sending up a teleporter. Hmm, I think the teleporter is on that side, though. All right, so I'm gonna throw that down right there. I think that'll land on that sunflower a little bit. Indeed it does, not enough to take her out, but that's fine. We got the banana, banana pea shooter. There's bananas on his head. Oh geez, who's gonna win this battle? I don't know, I don't know, this is intense. Intense, intense. Oh geez, I gotta reload, he's gotta reload. Come on, I only have a little bit le power left. I can get him though, I can get him though. Oh man, this thing is so difficult to aim. I got him, sorry, see it. <laughs> I sort of feel bad about that one. All right, let's uh, go this way. Seems like they are starting to get closer to the point. If I could get that kernel corn a little bit. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. They always move the second before you press shoot. It's just like when I try to take pictures of the cats. It's always blurry because they stay perfectly still, and the moment you press the picture button, they move. Oh boy, oh boy, no, 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 barrel, 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 yeah, barrel. I mean, I don't really need it now. The, the all-star busted me out of that one. Oh, I can get you down. You probably have your escape though. I can only imagine. Oh, just barely got him there. Just barely perfectly timed. Let's get you a little bit. I need to be super careful here because I could lose health really quickly, but I should be able to damage somebody. I don't know if I can reach this guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs> Go for the Colonel Corn. Go for basically anybody else. I see your Colonel Corn head popping up over that little mountaintop. How are the cats? The cats are doing great. Nobody's been sick this week, which is good. We're getting revived. So I have my barrel again, which isn't a surprise, it's almost always up. I really need to start using it more with how often it's available at this point. Didn't quite get you then. Maybe the blast radius is different. That could be a thing. I could see that being a fair trade, a slightly lower blast radius in exchange for a uh, quicker cooldown. Because a lot of the time you really don't need that blast radius to be as big as it is if you know what you're doing with the barrel. But so far I definitely recommend this. If you're a Captain Deadbeard player and you find yourself using the barrel a lot, this could be very good. Anyways, let's get this. Uh, is he gonna go for me? No, he's actually ignoring me. So I'm gonna sneak in and get my revenge. Don't ignore me. Oh boy, or ignore me, whatever you want. <laughs> see if I can't get you. Uh, I'm gonna go into the cannon form though so I take less damage. I got one shot in, better than none. There's a lot of players now though. It seems like we're slowly growing here when it comes to the party, which is good. But I don't know if they're gonna be able to take this first point or not. Seems like they're struggling so far. They're charging in, but we just have a really good defense. It seems like the zombie team was bigger than a plant team a moment ago. They still have plenty of time, two and a half minutes. So that's definitely enough time to take the point. This guy doesn't seem to notice me. I've lowered his health a good amount. And there we go, we finish him. Vanquish wise, we're doing pretty good. We're not top vanquisher, but getting pretty close to it. All right, where are you gonna run? I don't think you have Husk Cop. And if you do, yep, there it is. <laughs> I'd rather you use that against a parrot than an actual zombie. There we go, we traded. Okay, so, no, I can't go up that way. I have the barrel, just need to wait for the perfect opportunity. I can't shoot that because there's a wall. 
but I feel like I've used it in pretty decent situations. I mean, I'm sure a lot of uh, Deadbeard players will know about the finesse of the barrel. There are good situations to use it and bad ones, because at some points, if you use the barrel, you'll just be a sitting duck and this everyone will turn and attack you. All right, can I get you a little bit, maybe? Yeah, that was a good shot. So where are these plants? I think there were some over here. Nope, it looks like the Mac turned them all inside out. I'm just gonna wait right here then, because they could just hop right over, maybe. Oh, they might not. I might have just wasted a barrel. But once again, there's a lot less stress for wasting the barrel. And if I've done anything else, I can explode it and use it, boom, to hop up here. Or or not, because the momentum was weird. But I jumped high enough to make that happen. It's just a matter of, I was sort of at a weird angle where I think I hit the lip of the actual dirt. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Why did I spawn in the parrot? That is the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh gosh, move it, move it. Chomper, no, leave me alone. I think you ate my friend. Wait, oh, barrel! Yeah, okay, get barreled, get barreled, get barreled. Oh, oh, he missed his goop. There we go, that was great, that was great. Oh, I just barely missed you. Come on, come on. Oh, I see that up there. It would be good to get rid of these turrets so that maybe somebody could get rid of the teleporter, but why not be a good situation? The barrel is almost ready again. Let's see who we can get with this. I'm sure we can get somebody. Like this Colonel Corn clearly doesn't see me. Oh, he might see me now. He's house copping. Oh, I can't get him. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that was so funny. He just hopped right off the map. He's just like, goodbye. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. I love that. I feel like that would totally be a mistake I would make, and that's why I relate to that so much. That was so good. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a good vanquish. I got that as well. There you go. I just, it feels so satisfying to land a shot with Captain Squawk, because he's just so difficult to do exactly just that. Ah, oh, couldn't get that. I was hoping I could get it between the tree and the fence. So, oh, they did take this point, didn't they? Ooh, that gives me an opportunity. An opportunity to get two Colonel Corns. The double, the double Colonel Corn takedown. That was awesome. All right, quickly, quickly. Ah, oh, I couldn't do it. You captured for the plants, good job. All right, this is a pretty good round so far. They were able to steal it right at the end. I'm getting some decent Captain Deadbeard Vanquishes. At this rate, I might actually be able to get level 10 with him. I, mean, I still gotta get a lot more Vanquishes. Level nine takes forever to get through. I mean, I really notice it for the characters I'm not very good at, but level nine just takes forever. All right, um. Who can I get here? I don't think I got anybody with that air strike, but that's fine. I'm waiting for this guy to pop up. He's gonna probably try to goop me. Oh, the camera doesn't like that. He's trying, look at him. Look at him go, oh, he missed that goop. He missed that goop. Got him. So it looks like the, the teleporter is most likely over here. Is it? Uh, Yes, it is. So we'll have to be super defensive in this area. It'd actually be really good if after I'm done with this barrel, if I can hop out and, oh my, the camera gets really weird inside buildings. But if I could hop out and then try to sneak in there with the barrel, that'd be good. What do we got up there? Just some plant pots. Well, not plant pots, but spawnables. Your commando core now? Cool. I'll keep an eye out for you. Oh, that was some good shots right there. All right, so I'm gonna move over here. I'm just gonna wait for him. I'm sure there's gonna be more roses like that one. Oh, you're definitely gonna go into your, oh, look at that. Using the strategies I recommend the last episode. All right, moving it. <laughs> and look at that, the barrel's almost ready again. It's already more than half line. It's like, a Godify is like half the uh, reload time for it, which is just crazy. I might be able to just sneak behind and get her from there. Or not, we'll have to find out. But nobody seems to be defending her. Oh, all right, all right, you know what? I have the barrel again. You're gonna get me or what? No, I don't think she has ethereal. I don't think she has it. Oh, I get her. I feel bad, we've just been chasing her around. But that's, our, that's what we're supposed to be doing as zombies, is protecting the point. The best way to do that is to stop the roses from sending up teleporters. Okay. Uh, I see some, some plants making their way over. But none of them are right in front of me just yet. I always set this up in the worst spots, don't I? They're gonna show up sooner or later. They didn't get the teleporter, right? They definitely didn't. All right, got you a little bit. Got you. I'm so done. I am so done for. Quickly, get into the barrel. Barrel. Oh, I got oh, the spike weed. Oh, well. 
That's why I think the regular goat is not the best. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. But uh, we got two minutes left to defend this. Will we be able to? So far, things are turning out okay, but they could be better. There's a pea shooter on the point right now, which I would like to put a stop to because nobody seems to notice him. He is one sneaky pea shooter. Sneaky pea. There we go. There's a lot of plants over there really trying to push for this teleporter, which is a good idea for them, but not for me. We're almost at level nine though. Oh, I really want that. It takes around 13 seconds to recharge. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Oh my, no, no, I need 13 more seconds. Leave me alone, chopper. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't on cooldown, but it would have been nice. Oh, I got level nine though. I did no damage to that guy, so I'm surprised I got the assist there, but hey. Level nine. What did I get as an upgrade? I actually want to check that out really quick. Respawn, character upgrades, because I don't have too many for him. Speed upgrade. Nothing too crazy, because we've only got we've only promoted him once. If we get level 10 here, we'll be able to promote him an additional time. So it looks like they did get that point. Not too surprised. So let's try to get to level 10. If they push all the way to the end of the game, and we keep getting you know the same amount of vanquishes, we should definitely be able to reach level 10. Is this guy coming to me? He is. All right, pull up the barrel. What are you gonna do now? Oh, I had to move in like a weird circular motion to try to make sure I don't get hit with the spike weed. I didn't get hit with the spike weed, but I also didn't get him. Oh, they set up the teleporter already. Where is that gonna be? Over here. I shot that kernel corn, so it made it so I'm aware of his location, and then he used the teleport. So if I could just be sneaky with this. Oh, he knows I'm here though. I'm gonna be I have to be quick with this. Move it, move it, move it. Move it, move it. Fine, you want a big hug? No, oh, he got me. <laughs> That's sort of the big counter to the barrels are definitely chompers. Chompers have the most ways to like, I guess, avoid the barrel. They can chomp it, they could goop it so it can't move, and then they can, of course, also just uh, set up the spike weed. Sutrons can be pretty good with it because they can get away from it very quickly or they can just charge right through it and break the barrel. So those are the two characters you sort of want to avoid when you're trying to use the barrel, but I think that most of the plant team seems to be aware that I'm using the barrel and are very prepared for it. You ate me, I saw, I saw, don't worry. All right, I'm waiting for this Citron so I can get around him. Please leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone. Oh, he's coming for me, isn't he? All right. <laughs> I didn't get anything done with this one. But once again, it feels so low risk when the reload is so, so low. There we go. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Please note. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it at that point. Oh, wow, he still ate the, oh, well, there was like five chompers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, too many. Too gosh darn many. Okay, well, level 10 is looking unlikely at this point, but I will try my best. Oh, now they're, now they're charging, the, charging the spawn. They know where I live. It's called the spawn point. They're coming to get me. All right, well, I don't think that airstrike's gonna get anybody. This is a bit of a crazy round so far, but it's, I think the plants are gonna be able to win this one because they definitely have the bigger team right now. That is definitely gonna help them. Oh, hey, oh, dance, dance. Oh, he didn't dance. He was in the little dancing thing and he didn't dance. Oh, well. Uh, oh my, he's going right for me. Oh, yeah, dance. No, oh, he didn't dance. Oh, well. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I almost got him. The sound there like sort of glitched out. Why are there so many choppers? It's not fair. Okay, well, you keep getting me, man. You keep getting me. There's not too much you can do about it. What is a Captain Deadbeard to do when there's 30 chompers on the other team? Not too much, unfortunately. Okay, well, this point might be a bit more helpful because you know they have a longer stretch to get down if they do get vanquished, which would also be why it's pretty important to uh, stop the teleporter, but I'm not really in too much of a position to do that as a Captain Deadbeard, you know what? You go vanquish somebody else. I know your game. I know what game you're trying to play here. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. The soldiers finally help me out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. All right, well, I hear, yep, somebody got you. With a lot of soldiers, this should be good for defending. As long as they're aware of the situation, we should be fine with that. Hmm, oh, let's try to get you a little bit because you're gonna be shooting at me. I might as well shoot right back. Oh, and I got you too. Okay, no, barrel, barrel, barrel away, barrel away. Oh, move it, move it, move it, move it. Can I get two? Can I get one? I got one, yes. 
<laughs> awesome. Getting my revenge on the chompers. Oh, got you a little bit there. You're gonna get that toxic damage. Got the assist, that's better than nothing. I'm gonna hide. Oh no. Oh, there we go, there's some damage on him. That's not gonna work. Where's that Colonel Corn at? He's gonna make this difficult. <laughs> oh, here he is, here he is. Oh, you were waiting for me. Oh, were you the one that hopped off the edge before? I don't know. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Got the assist, that's better than nothing. As long as he's out of my hair. Let's get rid of that, because that's gonna be a problem for somebody somewhere down the line. Oh, I see you, Chomper. I see you looking for me. I'm ready for you. <laughs> I'm sort of set up on an awful angle. All right. I got some damage. Even just a little bit's gonna go a long way. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, now I can barrel, though. Now I can barrel. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have barreled because everybody else got you. But I can go ahead and hug somebody else. Hey there, would you like a hug? Boom, gotcha. All right, well, at least I got another barrel vanquish. Zebra's revenge. This is a ridiculous, ridiculous round. So many chompers. Oh, we got a little bit more experience for level nine. Okay, can I get another vanquish or two with the uh, parrot? That would help a little bit. I see a Citron going over on the right. He's gonna make his way over pretty quick then. He might be able to defend himself pretty well against me with the parrot, because he can just, you know, do this. And it's basically impossible for me to get many shots on him, because he can just change his direction so quickly while I can't. Oh boy, help me out here, soldier. Help me out. Oh, we're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him, we're getting him. Throw that down. Oh, that's gonna get him. Yeah, okay, another 200 experience right there. Got it. Okay, that was decent. I feel like I'm getting most of my experience through assists this round, like I've gotten so many. Oh geez, here comes the train, watch out, watch out. <laughs> oh, I don't think this dead beard sees me. Oh, well you definitely see me. <laughs> I'm just making a runaway, can I get onto the train? I can't. I went too far. I recognize my mistake. Still got some good damage out there. That's fine. All right, well, not expecting the perfect, the most perfect game ever. I just won level 10. Because level 10 is Captain Squawks. That sounds pretty darn awesome to me. I don't see too, too much going on over there, but... Boy, I see you. I don't know if I can get you. Whoa, you disappeared. I don't know if she went out of the render distance or if she, oh, she went through the teleporter. <laughs> I think she accidentally walked through that too. Whoa, oh, okay, I thought there was a player flying in the air. It was just a little crane. Hmm. All right, well, I can't snipe too much from here. I might be able to get this chopper. If the train allows it, come on, Mr. Train. Whoa, you went flying. Oh, I see you over here. Oh, you're trying to get me. You can't get me from up here, though, can you? I mean, I'm sure you could if you hopped up, but you can't dig over here. Goodbye. I know he's trying to get me. I know I've been in this location on stream long enough so that you guys can see it, and you can head over here. Don't you try to chomp me or to goop me or nothing. I know you're down there. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> All right, where, where is this Colonel Corn? Well, he was up and then he was down. Oh, did I get it? Look at that snipe, that was a good one. Oh my, I need to be sneaky, I need to keep moving. Oh. All right, oh, here he is, here he is, I found him. I found him, oh, got you a little bit, 46 damage is good. Oh, now he's coming for me, I got him a little bit more, I don't know if that damage registered down. Oh, here we go, that, that dig ran out pretty quickly, I don't know if he had like the super speed dig or something, or if he just decided to run away. It didn't work out for you that time. I know, just like, every time I don't have, like I, I turn around to look, to double check there's nobody behind me, there ends up being somebody behind me, so I'm like super on edge right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't get anybody with that, I got Godified. That was perfect timing with the Godified. Zamba is almost ready for launch, I don't like it, because they're ready to get rid of the launch. Ooh. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I was aiming up for it for so long. I don't know if anybody knows I'm back here, at least for this very moment. That means I have another barrel available. Oh, I can't believe I missed that either. I'm like awful aiming right now. There's another one. All right, there we go. No, I was about to barrel too. Perfect move by the uh, the Citron. That's another way the Citron can shut you down while you're in the barrel. He can just EMP you. And I don't think it breaks the barrel, but it at least you know makes it so that you can't move very far at all. The best camping spot I know, right? 
when we were up on that crate. All right, hit me with your best shot. Or maybe not. Oh, oh, no, I was about to pull it up, dude. Ah, oh, we're gonna get got, or not. A team coming in to save the day. Oh, it's gonna be a close one if we hit level 10 or not. Let's try to get you. Got you a little bit. Zombot slamming down. We didn't know it. When Zombot slams down like that, he can actually vanquish you. It's happened to me a time or two, and it's always surprising. You know what? Where are they? I know there's one about to pop around the corner, right? Hey, you just shot that right through me. Oh, we got somebody. We got some. I think I got the uh, the, the chomper there. All right. Uh, plop on down here. Where is this guy at? He's hiding behind a wall. Oh, I see you. Do you see me? Not quite yet. Man, that is so much damage. 46. I think it's more than the uh, the uh, you know, the super ranging. Oh geez, here you come, here you come, here you come. There you are. Dance, dance. No, my barrel, it's supposed to work. Come on, I didn't even get out of my spawn location. <laughs> yep, he's taunting at me. I didn't even notice you were a hot rod chomper. You have so many different Christmas cosmetics. I thought you were just a normal chomper. All right, well, they're really beating up the zombie boss right now, but I just, I don't even care. I just, I'm so close. No, 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 somebody help. My teammates won't help me. I literally just spawned, dude. They're so savage. 46 plus to toxic damage, yeah, it's insane. I don't know if the, uh, the what, what is the name of the cactus? The, the, you know, the one that does a ton of headshot damage. She does 60 damage per headshot, doesn't she? So that's a little bit more crazy, but I think that's even harder to aim. I need to play more of her for sure. I think she's just a camo cactus. So much salt. I'm brimming with salt. Not really too much, but I just find it really funny. You guys are really good at getting me. There we go, there's a good vanquish. Come on, can I get like one more good barrel vanquish? Barrel vanquish? Come on, get it, get it, get it. You don't have too many ways to defend yourself. On the stairs, yeah, oh, but still not level 10. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, definitely the spray really doesn't do much, unfortunately. Yeah, the camo cactus. All right, well, let me just do one more. If I could just get this, I, you know, you guys can win after this. I totally don't mind. I just need like five more experience. Oh, hey guys. I mean, the the parrot's really not too great in this situation because I think, oh no, this area doesn't have a roof. Huh, the more you learn, level 10. I thought this area always had a roof, so it's like I never bothered using the airstrike around here. And what do you know? She deals 80 damage. Maybe with all the upgrades she deals 80 damage, but I thought that, at least in Garden War for one, I thought she dealed 60 with the headshots, but maybe they changed it, maybe it's with upgrades, I'm not sure. Either way, she's crazy powerful. I definitely need to play her and other cactuses a bit more often. There's always so many variants to play. Well, I have this guy as level 10, so maybe for the last couple seconds, if I do get taken out here, which I did, can always rely on the choppers. Uh, I might as well change to a different dead beard for the last 20 seconds of this round, if I can. So who else do I have to play? I could play Captain Party Man, or you know, let's try some Captain Cannon. I don't like doing it, but I will do it. Okie doke. Let's see, will the game immediately end? You destroyed the battery, good job. You guys have been playing really well. The plants have been destroying it this round. It's been crazy. I'm happy with how many vanquishes I got with the uh, Captain Squawk. 36 is pretty good in my opinion. I'm gonna get zero with a uh, good old Captain Cannon, because I'm so bad with this, dude. I shouldn't shoot our own Zombot. We need that to stay alive to win. Oh, well, I was gonna go through that way. Never mind. Okay, let's see who I can get then. There's a sunflower coming up around here. Oh, here we go. Oh man, I missed it. And I missed it. And I missed it. That's basically everything that happens when I play Captain Cannon. Oh, look, I missed. Oh, look, I missed. Oh, oh man, I missed that too, really? There we go. I got that at the least. I'm gonna hop out of here, because I know there's a, yep, <laughs> there he is. I felt my controller vibrate and I knew it was a chomper. Three to eight, oh my gosh. All right, wow, they actually might not be able to pull this off. They need to get this battery broken one more time and the battery has plenty of health. Looks like we might defend the last point here. That's actually quite surprising. But at the same time, how many times have they nerfed this battle so that the plants can win more often? And look at how difficult it still is for the plants to win. Either way, that was a great round, I really enjoyed that. 
I got some good vanquishes. I got a Captain Deadbeard to level 10, which is more than I could ever ask for. Thumbs up to Zombots, he's out of here. Okay, so that was a good round. I think that'll be our last round of today's video. For those of you asking, you know, like, it's supposed to be 30 minutes for the video. Obviously, I try to get to as close to 30 minutes as I can, but if we're in the middle of a turf takeover game, I'm not just gonna close it and be like, okay, we're done. If we're having a good time, gonna, the video can be longer. It's just 30 minutes is around where I want Captain Natuna. All right then, so there is a look at the new Barrel Blast. It is very, very cool, and it looks very blingy, and I really like the lowered cooldown. I honestly think this will be my go-to barrel from now on. But of course, if you have the new barrel, let me know down below, and also let me know if you plan on using it. If you think it's actually better than the new barrel, I'd love to hear some counter arguments on why it isn't. Because honestly, I have no clue why it wouldn't be. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Barrel so I know you've watched the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.